The rain and wind put a damper on the Three Rivers Regatta for a little while this afternoon, but after it passed, it didn't take long for things to get rolling again. Our John Shunway is joining us live tonight from Point State Park. John. Yeah, John Benassi is the chairman of the regatta. When I ask him about the rain, he goes, rain? What rain? We're not talking about rain, and they are ignoring it at this point because it's a thing of the past, and they are in high gear. Take a look at what's going on over here right across the river, over right in front of the Great Lawn right now. Uh, one of those demonstrations, and there are a lot of these that are going on this weekend. In fact, in just a few minutes, there are going to be Red Bull skydivers coming out of the sky and landing in the Allegheny River. Yes, the Three Rivers Regatta is on. Once again, the regatta sports a lot of unique drawing cards, like the Frisbee dogs. They're fabulous. They are, I've had one of these dogs, and they're the smartest dogs I have ever owned. Or the sand sculpture, this year honoring the regatta's 40th anniversary. The nine-story Ferris wheel. People love to go on that. You get to see the whole city from the top of that. Of course, there are power boats cruising 100 to 150 miles an hour on the Allegheny. Add to that the Red Bull Futog's first visit. Will it fly or splash? I anticipate the other side of the river to be full. There'll be boats. This great lawn's going to be full. In other words, plenty to bring a whole lot of folks to the regatta weekend, including fireworks, of course. Four to 500,000 total in the viewing bowl. So you can imagine, security has been a focal point of planning. There's security, private security, city police, county police. Uh, there's even state horses that are through the city, too, just to make sure everything goes good. There's going to be bag checks. There's going to be police in the uh, in the parks. There's going to be uh, a lot of security throughout, without making it look so obvious, so as not to distract from the food. It was a lot of cheese. I like fried food, so and they have like a lot of fried food, so. But if you see a lot of green people at the point tomorrow night, it has nothing to do with the food. A social media campaign is on to get people to come to the Smash Mouth concert dressed as Shrek. Uh, you know, people are welcome to, that's fine. Uh, if there's a lot of people, you know, painted green, that's, that's fine. The more the merrier. Yeah, the more the merrier, and there are going to be plenty of folks. And uh, people are starting to make their way down here. There are a lot of things that are going on this evening leading up to the Easton Corbin uh, concert that is at 8 o'clock tonight at the main stage here. And then, of course, everything gets rolling again tomorrow. And when you're talking about the Flutog, which is going to come off of that runway right over there where it says Red Bull, either here on the city side, and by the way, they have a jumbotron set up over here so that you can see close up what's going on on the North Shore. So here on the city side or on the Great lawn over there between Bettis's place and Heinz Field. Great locations to watch the Flutog, which starts at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning and runs till around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. There are also going to be boats on the river tomorrow. The anything that floats has not gone away. It's going to be on Sunday morning. A lot packed into this weekend, not to mention the Pirates playing and the Family Fest over at Heinz Field. If you can't find something to do in Pittsburgh this weekend, you're really not trying. Live at Point State Park, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.